Today we are making a chalupa like Taco Bell, but vegan of course. And this thing was super dang good and better than the original if you ask me. And we'll be making some vegan sour cream, some taco seasoned vegan meat, and of course frying up the chalupa shell as well. So let's get it going. First, for the sour cream, I went ahead and just kind of improvised this based off of my cream cheese recipe by using a few different ingredients and making it way zippier too. But all we need to do is soak one cup of cashews in some boiling water for about 10 or 15 minutes. After that, to a high speed blender, we'll add 75 grams of full fat coconut milk. And before you ask, no, this doesn't make it taste like coconut, so don't you fret. After that, we'll add in our cashews as well as a big teaspoon of lactic acid. This is what's gonna give the sour cream its tang and I recommend doing this to taste. And then next is a little salt and just for the heck of it, a bit of lime juice. And now all we need to do is blend this in a high speed blender and I realized early on that this was gonna be way too thick. So I added in some unsweetened plant milk and I ended up going with about a half a cup or so. And as always, a link to the written recipe will be in the description and will be a little less chaotic than this. But essentially all you need to do is keep adjusting the liquid and salt and acidity levels to your liking. And once I was done, I gave it a final taste and this stuff was super tangy, which is what I like. So like I said before, just make sure you add in stuff gradually since you can't take the tang out once it's there. Now let's prep our ground beef. And for this, I'm using my trusty buddy Impossible Meat. I'm gonna add an entire brick to a pan over medium heat and I'll break that up a bit. And then we're gonna add in some of the much needed seasoning, starting with one tablespoon of chili powder. And when I say chili powder, I mean this kind, not like cayenne pepper. And then two teaspoons each of onion and garlic powder, followed by one teaspoon each of chipotle powder, and then some smoked paprika, and then half a teaspoon each of cumin and oregano, and then lastly, some salt and black pepper to taste. And this is optional, but I'm gonna add in half a can of these roasted green chilies just for the heck of it. Mix that up and then we'll add in the juice of half a lime followed by half a cup of water. And you're gonna stir that up, cook it for another minute or so, give it a taste, and if it's good, your beef is ready. Next, we gotta do our lettuce and tomatoes. And for these, I picked up a couple tips from Joshua Weissman. And first, for our lettuce, we're gonna shred that up as we do, but then we're gonna add in some chopped cilantro as well as a bit of lime juice. And this is just gonna level up that boring old iceberg lettuce and make it a bit fresher and zippier. And for the tomato, I'm gonna slice off the top and bottom, which can be used as a snack, of course. And then we just kinda of wanna run the knife around the tomato like so until we've taken out the middle core with all the juice and the seeds. Should look something like that. And then now we just gotta cut it into strips. And then finally, a dice like so. Not too bad for my first try, if I do say so myself. And then lastly, we gotta do the cheese, and the chalupa comes with a three cheese blend, but I only have two, so sue me. And as I like to recommend, I'm gonna grate my own cheese like so, and I'll just store that in the handy little Tupperware that this came with. Okay, now, finally, all we gotta do is fry up our chalupa shell, so get yourself a vegan flatbread, or worst case scenario, a regular flour tortilla will be fine too. And to keep the shell in place, I'm using these cool little taco shaper thingamajigs. You don't have to use these, but it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. I'll leave links in the description for them as well. But either way, you're also gonna wanna poke a bunch of holes in these. I'm talking like at least 20. During my first round of tests, these flatbreads blew up like balloons. So poking some holes will allow the steam to escape. And then after that, we just gotta fit them snugly in the taco shaper. And then next we need to get a pot of oil up to heat. And by the way, reuse your oil. Here's some from the last thing I made. So yeah, don't just throw it out after one use. I would say it's usually good for three or four uses depending on what you're frying. And once our oil is up to 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll carefully add that chalupa shell to the oil and using some tongs, I'll keep it pressed down. I found even with the taco shaper and punching some holes, these things still like to blow up, but luckily they had no intention of doing that once the camera started rolling. Just keep an eye on them and use some gumption as needed. And then after a while, once it's kind of golden brown, you can remove it from the taco shaper to ensure even browning. And once it looks something like that, allow the excess oil to drip off, and then you're gonna let it rest until it's cool enough to handle, and then it's time to assemble. And the taco shapers double as a taco holder, as you can see here, but now we'll load it up with our plant-based taco meat, 
Give it a good old squirt of our homemade vegan sour cream. And then our zippy lettuce, our tomatoes, the three cheese blend minus one. And there you go. You are now the proud owner of a vegan chalupa, which you can proceed to inhale as I did. And yeah, it's been a while since I've had one of these without subbing half the ingredients, but this is way better than I remember. So I really do hope you all make this. I also have a few other Taco Bell copycat recipes, which I'll link right here. If you do make any of them, let me know how it goes. I hope you're all doing great and I'll see you next time.